Okay, I wasn't going to post this, but I'm going to. I think I need to address it. My best friend of 30 years, 30 more than 30 years now, Johnny Gearjammer, John Sessler Jr., he died a couple of weeks ago. You know him as Johnny Gearjammer. Um, I wrote a post about it on my blog over on, uh, yeah, it's just, you'll see it if you go look at it. UncleBonehead.xyz and I2P and on tour. It's all the same blog. But uh, I just wanted to address it real quick and let everybody know, yes, he did die. He passed from stomach cancer is what it turned out to be. They originally couldn't find the cancer. And then they, by the time they did find it, it was too late that they could really do anything for him. He had a perforated stomach. So they couldn't work on his cancer until they got his stomach taken care of. And they couldn't fix his stomach till they knew what kind of cancer he had. By that time, it was too late. And so he ended up crashing really hard on a Friday night, early Saturday morning. They flew him in a helicopter to a much better equipped hospital that couldn't end up doing anything for him. Um, yeah, I was going to do a episode where it's just, you know, audio and I'm just talking about his music that I, him and I did together and some of the my, my favorite stuff that he's done. I plan on doing that still. It won't be a video. It'll just be audio only. Um, but it'll have probably seven or eight songs in it of John's and one with me and that me and him did. Well, two. One, one that's kind of a funny one and then one that was a really serious one. Um, there was no service for him. Uh, from what I understand, we're going to throw a, a, there's going to be a family memorial and then there's going to be, we're going to try to put something together, Gary Fender and I and some other people from the band, I guess, are we going to put some, put together something for during the warmer months and uh, do a memorial, public memorial for, for John. And it's, I want it to be something that John would be proud of. And I'm sure it will be. So with that, that's just a quick little update. I'm working on a video about Ubuntu 2204 or 2404. Um, so look for that coming up here in a couple of days. And other than that, there's nothing really more to report. Uh, Keith and I is going to do a tribute show to John for Two Fat Guys, Off the Rails, and Loud and Proud, whatever you want to call it. It was all the same show. Uh, I honestly don't know if we're going to try to keep the it was three fat guys but it would have to go back to two fat guys now because it'd just be me and Keith um, Keith I don't know if you want to do it if you do we can try it um, if not we'll just, uh, John was my muse so I, I kind of don't know what to do now without him um I don't know if I want to keep creating content, whether it's you know, video, audio, or doing a radio station or something. I don't know. I probably, 
I would be content probably in not doing anything. Um, as much as I hate social media now, it, it's it's grown on it's grown to where it's nothing but a data vacuum, and it's obvious. And people only narcissist people are on social media, and I'm not a narcissist, so. <laughs> Um, I just, I'm pretty solid in knowing who I am and what I believe in. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Like I said, I'm going to put up a picture here, two of my favorite pictures of John. Uh, one, one, they both. They both described exactly how John was. Um, and what you heard on the shows, whether it was Loud and Proud, Off the Rails, Three Fat Guys, or any other podcast he was on or, or live stream, that was John. He didn't put on a face for nobody. And uh, that's what made him one of the coolest fucking dudes I've ever known. We'll miss you, boy. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.